Finding a peacock in Chandigarh Peacock Park is like a game of hide and seek. Just stay patient, keep an eye out and you will spot few. The myth says peacock have an angel feather, a devil voice and a thief walk. But honestly, they just run like thief and hide instantly. Welcome to Jack Bike Log. I am going to the Department of Forest and Wildlife Chandigarh. Developed 5.7 acre peacock park in sector 39. Safe place and breeding small forest like ground for peafowl with over 30 Indian peafowls living there. The park is dedicated conservation to protect these birds and ensure their survival. This initiative stands with impossible to avoid challenge faced by the peoples in nearby Punjab and Haryana state. Poaching and pesticide use in agriculture have caused a decline in their population. Chandigarh peafowl population is flourishing not just in the park but also across the forested areas and nearby sectors. This is a strong indicator of the city commitment to wildlife conservation. I am at Peacock Park now. After reaching the Peacock Park, I recorded a few peacocks outside because the park was closed at that time. Within a five minute, one of the park staff noticed me and came over. He then opened the main gate, allowing me to enter. Once inside, I had to register my details as a visitor before exploring the park. Park always open from Monday to Saturday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Peacock Park in Chandigarh is all about creating a natural home for the Indian people. The park is filled with ideal trees and new plants are still being added to make the habitat even better. You can spot more than 30 Indian people which live for around 10 to 25 years in the wild. It is also protected by the Department of Forest and Wildlife UT Chandigarh. A rough transformed road has been set up by the department for visitors, but not many people come since it is in a forested area. One thing to watch out for is the mosquitoes. They are everywhere and can maybe you swell up from bites. I highly recommend using mosquito cream. If you are planning to stay for a while, trust me, you will want it. I will show you how badly I got bitten by the end of the day. Peacock Park conserve peacock or say peoples. You will see holdings around the park that share info about different types of peoples like Indian people, green people and so many. They also talk about the cool features of the peoples like colorful feathers, long tails, vastu benefits. There is this large open set made from the natural material perfect for chilling. Next to it there is a small mud hole that adds to the park charm. The mud home looks super earthy and traditional, giving you village-like feel. Both the set and the mud home blend perfectly with the nature, making the park even more peaceful and inviting. Park is home to trees like Sehtut and so on. The entire area is fenced off to give the people a quiet, safe place to rest. There is also a good setup for them with water and mixed grains, along with artificial pond, making sure they have everything they need inside the park. This place has a really cool natural vibe. Before knowing peacocks, it is good to know their habitat. It will help you spot them better. Both green and blue peoples are omnivores, so they eat a variety of things like seeds, insects, small animals and even reptiles. Peacock love trees that give them space to sit and stay safe. Here is the ideal trees with the mansion on the hoardings. Look ideal for peacocks. These trees are big with strong branches, example Jamun, Mango, Sisam and Arjun. Although explanation of trees not matter here, still we look into the medicinal use of these trees. Dates or Khajur are super nutritious, high in fiber and packed with antioxidants. They are great for brains and health, plus they help in reduce the risk of cancer and manage diabetes. Sisam is helpful for treating obesity, vitiligo and stubborn worm. It is also good for tracking intestinal parasites. Arjun is fantastic for heart health. It helps with asthma, high BP, curves, sore throat and even high cholesterol. The peacock is a symbol in Hindu and Greek mythology and is the national bird of India. The good news is it is not endangered according to the IUCN. Now, green and blue peoples are a bit different. Green peafowl males have a green and gold feather with black wings that signs blue. Unlike the blue ones females, green peoples look white like the male but with shorter tail feathers and a more coppery neck. When I walk around, I often try to spot peacock but they vanish quickly. It is almost like they disappear in no time. Even then, I recorded few peacocks. Just like finding a peacock, finding good quality things takes time and patience. You can't trust it. Lantana is used for treating cancer, skin issues like itches, leprosy and even diseases like chickenpox, measles, asthma and ulcer. Java plum or jamu is great for purifying the blood 
managing diabetes and helping with the sore throat, asthma and digestive issues. People used to think that the eyes on the peacock feather was used for spying and bringing bad luck, so they avoided bringing into their homes. Nowadays, feathers are seen as a symbol of mystery, romance and illusion. They remind us to look inward for true beauty. These feathers also represent good fortune, kindness, patience and compassion. In Hindu mythology, the peacock is linked with Garuda the bird that carries Lord Vishnu. It is also associated with Saraswati, goddess of wisdom, Lakshmi, goddess of wealth, and Brahma. The unique eyes on both sides of feather are rare in nature and symbolize divine wisdom or third eye. Mango helps in managing BP and diabetes. It also aids in treating restlessness, kidney stones, respiratory issues, and even burns. Peacocks are believed to protect from negative energy like jealousy and anger and bring happiness. Lord Krishna is often shown with peacock feathers in his hair and on his flute, said to be gifted by peacock themselves. In Vastu Sas, keeping peacock feathers in the south part of your wealth storage is thought to increase prosperity. Peacocks are also known to predict rain with their dance and their cries are said to be predict a family member death. To spot peacock. Hope Lord Shiva bless me. This place is a real hide and seek for peacock search. In a quiet corner of small park or green forest, there is a tiny temple dedicated to Lord Shiva, resting peacefully under a tree. Nearby biscuits are scattered around for peacocks which roam the area. The mix of nature and spirituality creates a calm environment. Lord Shiva is often linked to nature, being the god of destruction and renewal, symbolizing the cycle of life. His presence in the park with peacocks reflect harmony with all living creatures. Let's check out and see if we can spot where peacocks are hiding. They blend in so well, it is like they disappear in no time. On the brighter side, people can interact with humans, but it is usually because they are afraid of people rather than affectionate. It can be hard to keep us pets. They might even go off to places if they find better food. Generally, peacocks won't attack unless provoked. During their breeding seasons, April to September, males can get territorial. They might defend their spaces and could get aggressive if they feel threatened. They have strong legs and sharp claws, so be cautious. However, they won't attack without a reason. To avoid trouble, keep your distance on the rough road of the park. Avoid chasing or teasing them. Watch their body language. If fanned out or making warning calls, back off calmly. Walk away slowly. Don't run. Peacocks use body language to communicate, so pay attention to their signals, respect their space and avoid surprise them. You can enjoy observing them safely in the natural area without cage.
I already spotted and unearthed few peacocks. I visited this amazing place where I saw both green and blue peafowl, which was super cool. But I wasn't prepared for the mosquitoes. They bit me all over my face, arm and hand. So if you go, watch out for mosquitoes and try to avoid getting sick from their bite. If you found this video useful and had fun watching, don't forget to subscribe Jack Bike Log. Hit the like button and share it. Let's keep this journey going together.